Alright. So this is the original Life is Strange. So surreal. They called film little pieces of time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay. I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black? I didn't fall asleep, and that sure didn't feel like a dream. Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Why are- Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. Arbus. Because of her images of hopeless faces, you feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? And frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Uh, I don't know. I did know, but I kind of forgot. You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Ah, oh, shut up. Very good, Victoria. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces. I can't believe I still have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the, the 21st American century. But I like it old school. You can find out- If anybody else looked at this, what would they think?
at some point I will I'm flipping through this so the uh, viewer can actually pause it and read it whenever they want to they want to get the actual story about him and your text if anybody else looked at this what would they think online hey guys don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the everyday heroes contest i'll fly out with the winner to san francisco where you'll be feted by the art world it's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography so stella and Alyssa, get it together taylor don't hide i'm still waiting for your entry too and yes max i see you pretending not to see me Now, as you can see, I mean, she doesn't look like the splitting image of Chloe. Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing ass. She kind of looks the same. That was amazing when Mr. Jefferson took a class picture the first week. Even though I didn't want to be in the picture at all, it was fairly fucking cool to watch him at work framing us. Damn, they have carbon fiber tripods here. The ball head even has a pan lock? God, I'm such a photo nerd. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. Hi, Kate. Oh. Hi, Max. Kate, I, I hope I didn't embarrass you with my lame answer. It sucks to be dragged into the spotlight. Unless you're Victoria. She's got nothing on you, Max. Well, I should get going. Yeah, me too. Talk to you later. Sure. Now I wish I wouldn't have read this. Purge. should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. Even her school books are gift wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What is she, 15 years old? I'm so cool to see Mr. Jefferson's actual published pictures. Gives me hope. This is definitely where cameras go to heaven. Oh man, they have those sweet ultrasonic lenses. And look at that vintage rangefinder. What? Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I didn't have any time. Way too much homework. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, 
but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. That's what separates the artist from the amateur. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. You can never escape the lighthouse here. Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. Man, he even has the best plasma HDTV for a class monitor. Can't wait to watch some more documentaries on this bad boy. So cool that we can check these out anytime. The Decisive Moment by Henri Cartier-Bresson? That's rare. Annie Leibovitz, mad respect. The amazing Eugene Smith, good to see Abaddon among the masters. Golly, of course. Lots of people I haven't heard of yet. I guess that's why I'm here. <clears throat> interesting, interesting. You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. You you always welcome to the real world. Then I might send you a special picture of Fanny Fly. Because Max wants everybody to see how cute she is. She plays it so sharp. I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so fucking boring. She's so fucking shy. Mm, don't nod. I can tell you this much, um, as far as this uh, soundtrack, for some reason, I like this one better than the, uh, the prequel. There's Taylor, always waiting for Victoria. I think that's Courtney. She's such a slave to Taylor and Victoria. These missing persons pictures are popping up everywhere. What's interesting is, and I guess this is kind of a spoiler for the previous episode, but Rachel Amber is the girl that pretty much uh, helped Chloe out at the, uh, at the rock show. To all of you, so. American girls in the movies. I shouldn't be so stingy with my blood. Ah, the science room. Here's the portal to Warren's oh, brain. Oh, uh, I forgot. I'm trying to get a photographer in this game. Alyssa is always texting, but she doesn't hang out with a lot of people. 
Evan doesn't say much to me, but his photos are very cool. I hate having everybody see inside my locker. I love that picture of mom and dad. Hello, Jack. Kiss, kiss. Andy, you look totally fabulous, as usual. Dana talking to, I think his name is Justin. Stella is always deep in her notes. She didn't come to Blackboard to mess around. Yes, this poster must stop bullies dead in their tracks. I've seen Brooke hanging out with Warren. She seems like his type. I hate bully jockstraps like Logan. Poor Daniel, he's so nice. I wish I could beat the shit out of Logan. Don't need a PC, missed the Poetry Jam tryouts, and I did not steal that backpack. so messed up. I should contact them to find out what I can do. As if I am. I wonder what actually happened to her. Good thing I left my AK at home. They should just call it a sugar machine. That would be awesome if you put money in there and a bag of sugar dropped out. There's Hayden, another Vortex Club bro. But he's actually not an ass. Oh, I can hardly wait to never be too cool like Nathan and Victoria. Lame. Driving a car by the seaside Watching the world from the bright There's Juliet from my dorm. Yet another Vortex Club disciple. Figures Juliet would be dating Zachary. Jocks sucked up in the Vortex Club. He's cute. I like skater boys. Too bad they don't like me. To all of you. The Bigfoot stop. American I should develop some cool spirit. Yay, Halloween, my no favorite time of year. Tell where your heart is. American girls like Miss Grant is a great science teacher. With shiny smiles and plastic buddies. Principal doesn't come out of his office much. I wish I had. Story on the road. Empty, good. Nobody can see my meltdown, except for me. Now, who would bother to write that crap? Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Fuck it. When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. I feel like the universe is taunting me everywhere I go today. It all started with that bizarro dream in class. Am I going crazy? The last time I got a flu shot, I got the flu. Fuck you. Yeah, it doesn't work like that, lady. 
I'm good to flow. Thanks. Okay. This poster must drive people to have sex. Cool, Nathan. Don't stress. You're okay, bro. Just count to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. You're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs! Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Whoa! What the fuck? How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. Likely was. These pieces of time can frame us. I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color. Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings. This is real. Now, Shit. can you give me an example of a Man, photographer? I cannot believe this. Can capture the human condition in black and white. Okay, if I'm crazy, I might as well go all the way. Can I actually reverse time? Why Arvis? I did it. Can you give me I an actually of a did it. Photographer who perfectly captured I'm a the human, human time machine. machine. Anybody? Bueller? Max, Diane. don't freak out. Not yet. There you go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Because when I took my selfie, Jefferson asked me a question. Totally if he does again, I'll know this is for real. Kids call a selfie, a dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition, and Max has a gift. I know I'm not dreaming this. It's real. I can tell. So I can go back in time. Selfie expression. What if that girl isn't dead yet? Can I save her? Portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please? Tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits. I'm sorry, but I really have to use the bathroom. Nice try, Max. <laughs> but you're not going to get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. Who knows their Jefferson wants to keep me he after class. And I need time to save that girl. Types. A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind again and give him the right answer? I wish I had this power. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please? Tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits. 
The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Hell yeah. Nice work, Max. Because I was reading. The Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because Actually it gave the subjects the clear, piece. defined features. Ah. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of everyone. You're damn right. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an everyday hero. Yes, Victoria, you still have your own Nice answer, Max. Are you okay? You look pale. Kate, um, did we talk at all today? This is the first time. What's wrong? I'm sorry, I'm just tripping. Too much stress. I know the feeling. I wish we didn't. I do have to go, but we can talk later if you want. I'll see how I feel. Thanks, Max. I don't want anybody to feel excluded from this process, but I also want everybody to know that this photographic world is not for I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I'm not avoiding, just... Biding time? Waiting for the elusive right moment? Exactly. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. <laughs> Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers, good. You're damn right. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. Ha, about that. I love it. It's like it's like a life cheat code. <laughs> I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. I can't tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. You know I don't tease. I hate that science. Okay, Max, retrace every step. I washed my face. I shredded my photo, then the butterfly flew in, and I took a photo. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself! You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with! Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come don't on, put that thing down! Tell me what to do! Wow, sir, it's happening again. People trying to control I me! I need a hammer to break it open. Hell of more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Oh. Holy shit, I can't let this happen. If I can reverse time again, I can help her. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away! <laughs> Would ever even miss your Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. No way. Don't ever touch me again, freak. <laughs> Another shitty day. That did not happen. This cannot be real. 
I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do not freak out. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. Yeah, asshole. stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? It's just you water, You can always dude. be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. I can talk to you. I just got sick in class. Um, uh, female trouble. Except you're wandering around like a zombie. And do you think that's the first time a student has used that line on me? It's the truth. I felt dizzy in Mr. Jefferson's Just class. Just tell me what you're hiding. You can trust me. There's nothing to hide. I got sick. It happens, you know. There's that team toot again. You know, I've, I've heard enough. Don't think I don't know what goes on around here. You've only been here for three weeks, and you're already causing conflict. I don't you think your about? parents will approve when they find out. Now get outside with class. Please. No, he does not buy that at all. I may have just flushed. Nah, fuck it. Fuck that guy. So be there if a Sasquatch actually did battle a Razorback? Posters over posters? Somebody really wants to find Rachel Amber. I bet the Black Wolf Bounders would shit cats if they saw today's student body walking around like zombies on their phones. I better read Warren's text before he blows my phone up. This is a great image. All those rippling green coins. Okay, I better get to my dorm. This is a great image. All those rippling green coins. I hope everybody got their wish. Justin. Check out the Max. Come to Thrash? Oh, yeah? Bring it. What's your first move gonna be? Uh, jump? You're such a poser. If you can't even name a simple no slide or a tray flip, you should walk on. I don't like being called a poser. Yo, Justin. Check out the max. Come to thrash? I came to no slide. But I'd love to see somebody do a tree flip. Oh, sick. You're not a poser. Nah, 
I just can't skateboard mm -hmm. shit. Oh, check it. We're gonna destroy some rails for you. What do you want to see? Go for a tree flip. Let's get Trevor all over that action. Oh, ow. <laughs> <laughs> Just what I wanted. <laughs> that is awesome. Let me see something. So I know we get to, to do the, uh, let me see. Oh, yeah. Hi, Brooke. Let me guess. You want to fly my drone? I'd love to. I love planes and balloons and... This is neither. Do you know what a drone really is? A weapon, right? Uh, you read too many conspiracy sites. This might be too complicated for you. Funny. Warren said you were smart. Please, step back. Damn. Hi, Brooke. Let me guess. You want to fly my drone? I'd love to. I love planes and... This is... A weapon. Uh... Wow. Hey, hold on. What a complicated name for such a tiny drone. Uh, okay. Sorry, Max. I have to focus on making sure this drone doesn't crash. Sorry, Max. I have to focus on making sure this drone doesn't crash. Let me guess. You want to fly my drone? That looks like a high fly drone. Model B400 EVO. Now that's a nice piece of tech. You're full of surprises. Why would you know that? I love aerial photography. Drones are perfect for that, especially those with great range. It's a new era of images. Most impressive, Max. Warren said you were multifaceted. Here, give the drone a whirl around campus. I actually want to get one of these. Pretty dope. Hi, 
Hi, Miss Grant. Excuse me, Max. I know everybody loves being asked to sign a petition, but would you do Miss Grant a favor and hear me out? Sure, I always have time for you. What's the petition? David Madsen, our chief of security, wants to put surveillance cameras all around the campus. Halls, classrooms, gym, dorm rooms, etc. Blackwell Academy should be a high school, not a high security penitentiary. David Madsen doesn't need another excuse to harass students here. Max, this isn't about personalities. This is about protecting civil rights and our school's legacy of freedom. Blackwell Academy has a noble heritage, from the Native Americans who founded this land to the pioneers who shared it in peace, not fear and violence. Is that what happened? <clears throat> Blackwell is that old? That's incredible. You should learn a little history about your alma mater. You'll find some fascinating facts. There's a lot of power in this region. I bet. I think it helps the creative juices flow around here. Now, before I assign you homework with this lecture, will you please sign the petition to keep our campus from going back to 1984? Absolutely. I don't mind security, but not pure surveillance. I knew you were my favorite new student at Blackwell for a good reason. Of course, my actions will have consequences. I'm supposed to. Hey there, Stella. Hey, I know you. You're the new quiet girl in Jefferson's class. Isn't he incredible? I think so. We're lucky to have such a famous teacher. And I actually love his work. Me too. His New York urban stuff is great, but I'm glad he came back to his Oregon roots. Screw the East Coast elite. It must piss off those pretentious galleries that Mark Jefferson is teaching photography to us Blackwell Hicks. Plus, he is pretty hot for an older guy. Oh. If Victoria wasn't all over him, I would definitely make a move. Now that you mention it, he doesn't respond to Victoria's flirting. That means he has good taste. You have a lot to learn here at Blackwell. Rachel Amber absolutely had sex with him. Oh. Well, I heard that from a good source. So, you knew Rachel? Not really. I saw her hanging with the other cool kids like Victoria. Uh -oh, Not my kind of clip. But I heard insane stories about Rachel. That's so cool that Blackwell is doing a show of Mr. Jefferson's work. Mr. Jefferson has such a gift for different styles. Could I, um, ask you a question? Would you mind letting me sketch you? I do put my sketches on Facebook, though. I'd be honored, Daniel. Makes me feel like a muse. Funny you should say that. I was just thinking about my real muse. Rachel Amber. So what happened to her? There's got to be a story. She just stopped coming to class. Some people said she ran away. Some say she jumped off a cliff. I just hope she's okay. You knew her? No, but once she asked me to draw her portrait. Oh, she was a natural. Okay, why don't you start drawing me? Even though I must be a step down from Rachel. No way, you're a good substitute, Miss. That's a good posture. <laughs> good. Good. Best portrait ever.
sorry about this, but I always go through hey, Evan, all the interactions I can do Mind if I in check out like your this. cool portfolio? Let's see if you're worthy of it, Max. You'll have to answer a simple question. Who photographed the famous fallen soldier? Ah, I forget. Robert Kappa, of course. I love his work, despite the controversy about that photo. My, my. This quiet child knows things. That's why I'm here. You're a kindred spirit, Max. Would you care for a perusal of my portfolio? It's not a privilege I grant to many. I'd be honored, sir. These photos are great. And Rachel Amber's face is mesmerizing. Everybody loved Rachel. It was pretty dope, dude. Alright, I gotta go to my dorm. I need to go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. Oh. Hi, Max. How are you doing? Fantastic. I'm by myself for eating chiclet. Pretty soon I'll be bonding with Victoria at the Vortex Club. I think you're better yeah. off reading chiclet. Good point. Now if you'll excuse me. Okay. It's Max Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. What a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. The Daguerrean processor. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> oh, wow, good one. Good singer. Now get the fuck out of my way. Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. Oh wait, what? hold that pose. So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? Wow. Oh yes, Victoria. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. Mm -hmm. I don't want to mess with that ladder and hurt poor Samuel. I just want to get Victoria the hell out of the way. There goes Samuel da Vinci to paint the window. Hmm. There has to be something in here. What the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this! Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps.
I need to figure this out. Okay, let's see if this works. Are you kidding? Look at this! Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. <laughs> no way! No fucking way, Victoria. Oh, Samuel, sorry. Wet, wet paint is not good for hair, no? Sorry. Get the hell away from me, weirdo. Hold on, hold on. We'll get some towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I dry. It worked. Don't mess with Max, bitches. Now, watch me take the higher ground. Uh, hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? I am sorry. That's an awesome cashmere coat. It was. But there will be another. Well, you always seem to know how to pick the right outfits. I do have some talent. Mr. Jefferson told me. I've seen your pictures. You have a great eye. Richard Avedon-esque. He's one of my heroes. Thanks, Max. I hope those sluts get me a towel before they hang a sign on me. <laughs> you deserve a better shot. Sorry about blocking you and and the go fuck your selfie. That was mean, but pretty funny. It wasn't all that funny. One of those days, you know? I know exactly what you mean, Victoria. I'll see you later. Au revoir. See? All you need in your life Victoria is... Victoria probably played me. <laughs> All you need in your life is uh, a little paint. And, um... You can make nice with your enemies. <laughs> Room 217? No way in hell am I ever going in here. <laughs> Victoria is going to be pissed we took so long. Is this a Vortex Club or a Victoria Club initiation? Truly pathetic. I'd love to make a photo collage of every person who posted these. Man, people here are merciless. Nice atmospheric shot. Needs dusting. Kids. Could be fun. Glad I'm not the only lonely nerd around here.
Thanks for the warning. They live. This is like the public DNA of our dorm. sad. I didn't write anything. I have nothing to say. Home sweet home. My favorite cocoon. <sighs> Max and Chloe. Best friends forever. Who even says that anymore? I'm going to have to call Chloe eventually and find out what she'll say. The longer I wait, the worse it'll be. Idiot. Yeah, Max. Nice. Looks like Dana left me a little post-it note. Great. Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. Philip Lorca de Corsha, my man. I don't think I could take my camera to those places. Look at that shot. I love Julia Cameron's Victorian vibe. Talk about analog cameras. Ah, oh, Dolly, what a fantastic eye. He could truly freeze time. Daniel has so much talent. I hope nobody hates on it just because it's me. Worry, I am so addicted to this site. Look yeah, at these cool. vintage beauties. Warren makes me laugh. It's nice to feel like I already made a real friend here. You are thirsty. I'm the worst baby mama. Drink up. I'm glad Kate let me borrow her copy of The October Country. I should have every Bradbury book for myself. Let's see if she can play the guitar a little bit. Hard to believe I'm 18 now. I'm lucky my parents enabled my photo habit into adulthood. Warren even left me a little message with his flash drive. He's such a goofball. Max Caulfield Photo Memorial Wall. Warren even left me a little message with his flash drive. He's such a goofball. I 
I know, I'm taking pictures of everything. Alright. You can't get out now, Dana. So tell me the truth or rot in there. Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell. Warren should be all over Brooke. They're perfect for each other. Hey, Juliet. Is everything cool? Oh, yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. What did she do? What didn't she do? Dana's been sexting with my boyfriend. Ouch. How did you find out? Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk. Just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? What is her last name? Juliet... Ju Juliet Olsen. That was truly sad. Thanks for your concern, Max Caulfield. By the way, Juliet Watson. Hey, Juliet. Is everything cool? Oh, yes, Max. Juliet Watson, you be nice. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Uh, of oh. course I do. Thanks. Yeah. I locked Dana in because she was sexting Zach, my boyfriend. Unbelievable. How do you know? Victoria Chase. You know her. You could say that. But why would Dana go after your boyfriend? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria? Huh. She saw the sext. And Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. Yes, because just walking into somebody's room is okay. That's not what I'm looking for. Huh, let's see. I'll give Victoria props for not posting my photo. Yes. And for this nice shot. Boom! This is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. Victoria is a real Jefferson groupie. Victoria hates Rachel Amber this much? How insecure. Mm-hmm. Oh, there we go. This better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. Hmm. Those boots are made for walking runways. Dior, Givenchy, you could pay for my tuition with that wardrobe. Ouch. Well, at least she puts her photographs out there. Unlike me. She's actually got a classic medium format camera with some awesome... Whoa, I had no idea Victoria's parents owned the chase space. Color me impressed. They should call this series aloof, cold and soulless. Is she going to get a 3D printer for her dorm room? Maybe I will join her posse. Oh. Why would I do that? Okay, if I did wear expensive jewelry, I would wear this for sure. Yes, I get it. Enter the Vortex Club. No. There's something I can do in here. That is a tasty plasma. 
Maybe I could sneak in and watch Final Fantasy Spirits Within. I don't care what anybody says, that's one of the best- yes. Let's play a little photo Tetris and leave Victoria a message. Let's move this here, and this one there. Yes, I do. Hmm, a pattern is emerging. It wasn't me. <laughs> Juliet, read this. Of course. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No, but I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Ah. Thanks, Max. Ew. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zach has to say about Victoria. You set me free. Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. Almost done. Get the flash drive, and then I'll go see Warren. Must protect my precious, so Max never has to chase it down again. Hey, Dana. Seriously, thanks again. I can't believe Juliet locked me in my own room. Real mature. Poor Juliet gets her rage on. I hope she doesn't kill Victoria. Zachary should worry too. As if I'd let that ego case jockstrap touch me. But I bet Victoria would be all over that action. Or has been. Max, you're smart to be a loner here. Though Warren obviously likes hanging with you. He's a good guy. A geek like me. You saw the files in his flash drive. Tons of crazy shit. Films I've never even heard of and in a special folder called Max. Yeah, okay. I gotcha. It would be a cool sticker without the words. Dana takes her Blackwell spirit seriously. I can't even imagine what life would be like being a cheerleader. Dramatic, I guess. I see the pregnancy test here. That looks like a home pregnancy test. I wonder what will happen if I try to take it. Oh, uh, Max, that's mine. Thank you. Oops. You're not helpful. You're just nosy. I think you better go. Oops. Nice, Max. You hurt her feelings by being so damn nosy again. But I could rewind and make it up to her. Hey, Dana. Dana, I'm not trying to be nosy, but I heard a rumor about you. What? Sure. Who told you I was pregnant? Nobody important. They just acted like it was bullshit. I just wanted you to know. It's like a goddamn reality show around here. Can you keep a secret, Max? Of course, of course I can. <laughs> I was pregnant. Was. Oh. What about the other? That beat Dad? You can catch him on the 40 yard line this Friday. And it's not Zachary. Damn. Who then? And you don't have to tell me. In fact, you better not. I like your spirit, Max. Anyway, you better get that flash drive so Warren has an excuse to bug you. I assume Dana kept the appointment. Good lord. Dana really was on her own. Yep. Oh boy, what? Jesus 
price. I'm gonna slash that guy's tires. And if I get caught, well, I'll just rewind time. Fuck this shit! Ow! That hurt! Damn, I better rewind. Alyssa, move your head. If you insist, Max. Now that's what I'm talking about. I actually helped somebody. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. Hey, why don't you leave her alone? Asshole. Excuse us, this is official campus business. Excuse me, you shouldn't be yelling at students or bullying them. Hey, hey, nobody is bullying anybody. I'm doing my job. No, you're not. You're part of the problem, Missy. I will remember this conversation. Good. Remember it, asshole. Oh, Max, that was great. I think you scared him for once. I have to go, but thank you. It means a lot. Anytime, Kate. Yes, please remember that, Kate. I felt like an everyday hero helping Kate. I'm glad I stepped in that time. Can't stand to see people being bullied. How could Zack and Victoria do that to me? Hi, Juliet. How are you doing? Oh, hey, Max. Sorry, I'm still screwed up. Sorry you had to find out about Zachary that way. Or anyway. Better sooner than later. Now that skank Victoria won't be laughing behind my back anymore. Have you talked to Zack yet? Mr. Badass Football Hero is such a chicken shit. He said he sexted Victoria as a joke. Ha ha. I think Warren wants your attention. He usually does. Hang in there, Juliet. See you around, Max. I wonder how long before Samuel has to repaint that. Max, get your ass over here. Hey, don't talk to me like that. It's not a dirty window unless somebody writes clean me on it. I could use this picture for a series on Arcadia Bay Lots. Here's your flash. Thanks. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> Check out my new wheels. Cool. Very old school. 1978 to be exact. Now Very we can go to the drive-in. There's one in Newburgh just 60 miles away. You're 60 miles time. away? But then, so am I. You okay? It's been one strange fucking day. I bet. I heard Victoria got a face full of paint. I'd pay money to see a photo of that.
Really? I wish I would have known. You probably could have raised a Kickstarter fund just for that one image of her covered in paint. Had I known that. Anyway, Victoria took down my photo, so that drama ended well. By the way, I saw Daniel's sketch of you online. Not bad, but I could do a much better job. Oh boy. Competition. You can draw? I thought you were blinded by science, not art. Art is science. Music is math, etc., etc. I'd put Stephen Hawking against Picasso any day. Hardcore. So you must use a computer to draw? Of course. I'd love to tweak one of your selfies with some cool graphics. That might not suck. I'll let you know. So, did you get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? Um, movie booty? Yeah, thanks. You had some cool shit on there, from Akira to Twilight Zone, which seems apropos today. I consider myself a pop cultural pirate connoisseur. Um, that does sound better than thief. Ha ha. Make sure you watch Cannibal Holocaust. No, boy, Cannibal Holocaust. Seen it. I was more disturbed by all those emo vampire movies in there. Can a sensitive high school boy love sensitive vampires too? No. So you're sensitive. Ouch, that sounds awful the way you say it. It is. No, I was impressed you had faster pussycat kill kill. Russ Mayer was a genius of black and white. Plus, babes with breasts. Who would beat your sensitive ass down? If I was lucky. Speaking of hip and fast, we should cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. But you seem distracted. I need to talk to somebody, just to get it out of my system. Dr. Warren Graham is in the house. I won't even prescribe you any meds. Tell me everything. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me, not social media. Don't insult me. Max, go on. I had this incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. I mean, life-changing. Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Max Caulfield, right? You're one of the Jefferson's photo groupies? I'm one of his students. What the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. You best tell me what you saw, now. Here, get the fuck out of my face. Answer me, bitch! Nothing but a butterfly. You're full of shit. I'd respect you more if you told me the truth. I don't need your respect. You're clueless. You have no idea who I am or what I can do. Uh, Actually, I have a pretty good idea of who you are. Do not analyze me! I pay people for that. Worry about yourself, Max Coffee. Take a step back, Nathan Prescott. Oh man, you're telling me what to do? Get away from her, dude! Damn. Hey, leave him alone! Nobody tells me what to do! Not my parents, not the principal, that. or that whore leave in the bathroom! <gasps> Max? Chloe? No way. You again. Warren. Go! Go! I got this! Get in, Max! Get your punk asses out of there now! Don't even try to run! Nobody! Me. Nobody! Huh? Man, Nathan Prescott is messed up. And dangerous. This day never ends. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. Don't give me the guilty face. At least pretend you're glad to see me. I am seriously glad to see you. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Yes, it's been that kind of day. So what did that freak want with you? Hopefully nothing after today. So, how do you know Nathan? He's just another Arcadia asshole. Your friend really took a beat down for you. Warren? Yeah, I owe him big time. You're not the only one in debt. And you're already causing trouble. I thought it would be quiet here. It feels so weird to be back. So I guess Seattle sucked hard? I guess. It was cool, but... 
I felt kind of lonely, out of my league. I would think you'd fit right in with the art school hipsters. Right. You look like the cover of hipstergirl.com. At least you're still a smartass. That's why I'm here. Please, girl. You came back for Blackwell Academy. Of course, it's one of the best photography programs in the country. And my favorite teacher, Mark Jefferson. So you came back to Arcadia for a teacher, not your best friend. Don't you think I'm happy to see you? No. You were happy to wait five years without a call or even a text. I'm sorry. I know things were tough on you when I left. How do you know? You weren't even here. I didn't order my parents to move specifically to fuck you over, Chloe. You've been at Blackwell for almost a month without letting me know. Enough said. I just wanted to settle in first and not be such a shy, cliché geek. I totally would have contacted you. I bet you don't use these sad excuses on Mr. Jefferson. Don't use them on me, Max. Not everything changes. Except my camera has officially taken a shit. My step douche has a boatload of tools. Maybe you can fix it in my place. I need very specific tiny tools. Bird alert. My stepdad has a fully stocked garage. And he actually is a tiny tool. <laughs> Welcome home, Max. Shy. The house still looks nice. Home, shit, home. <laughs> My room looks a bit different than the last time you saw it. It's cool. At least we can chill out. This isn't exactly my chill out zone. My step fear makes sure of that. Come in and close the door. Put on some music while I medicate. Right. It won't play without any power. Right. Hey, give me that. Sorry, I wasn't trying to be nosy. Obviously, she was a good friend. It's putting it mildly. That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Yeah, I put them up. She was my angel. After my dad died and you moved, I felt abandoned. Rachel saved my life. Man, I had no idea. Well, you never made much effort to find out. I was 14. We were best friends. I never forgot. Even if I was an asshole and didn't keep in touch. But you had Rachel. Rachel had my back. We were gonna kick the world's ass. You would laugh at how different we were. She wanted to be a star. She looks like a model. That was her plan. Our plan. Get the hell out of Bigfootville and into Los Angeles. I see why. I bet your mom was not too happy. She was happy enough to marry a Nazi. 
Reason number 356 to escape. I feel the love. Now, when did Rachel actually disappear? Six months ago. She just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. What about her parents? Are they looking for her? They're in denial. Max, I know she's missing. I assume you know more than that. Before Rachel left, she said she met somebody who changed her life. Then poof. And you haven't heard anything from her since? Like everybody in my life. My dad, you, and Rachel. Gone. Can you put on some music now? Wow. And we will be seeing that. Oops. Put on a CD. We will be seeing that in the uh, prequel. Uh, let's see. How long have we been running? Oh, it's like an hour and a half. So, um... I'm about to uh, end this broadcast for the evening. We'll get to the next parts. Um, maybe tomorrow. Anyway, you can find tools to fix your camera in the garage. Chloe, are you okay? Sure, I'm awesome. I just want to blaze and be alone for a moment. tomorrow folks and thank you for uh, tuning in um, hopefully it'll get a bit more action-packed but this this, this game isn't uh, an action game it's more of a story based game so um, but yeah we'll continue with the journey of uh, life is strange thank you for tuning in